With the AI coaching, we can really offer coaching to more people because in this state right now, coaching is for privileged people, for management, for the upper supervisors, the upper leaders. So with the AI coaching, we can offer a very cost-effective system. And what I think is that this is the chance to make coaching mainstream. Friederike Railbacher, CEO of Symbolon AG. When you make experiences with ChatGPT, you often get recommendations. This is how you do it, you do it like this and that. So for us, it's really important that only the coachee is developing the solution. Yeah? The coachee stays the expert for his or her topic. Step up and really get in touch with the AI tool and to use this opportunity to strengthen ourselves. Yeah, everyone should take this opportunity and use it for themselves and to create value for the world. And we have them now here and now we need to wait. So Time is now. Welcome to the High Performance CEO Show, your exclusive insight into the strategies and success habits of the world's top CEOs. I'm your host, Sebastian Schieke, entrepreneur, mentor, and business angel. Prepare to grow your business, enhance your leadership skills, and thrive in today's world. Let's dive in. Today, I always have special guests, but today is very special because we talk about uh, bot coaching and I have Friederike Redelbacher from Symbolon AG here. She's the CEO and she's a pioneer in coaching with bots. So we learn a lot today about um, how to use artificial intelligence for coaching. And um, also, it's very interesting to learn the connection between art and coaching. So, Federica, welcome to the show. Yes, Sebastian, thank you so much. I'm excited to be here and I'm looking forward to our conversation today. Basically, she contacted me. I was on a podcast for the ICF uh, Coaching Foundation where we talked about leveraging AI in coaching. And so Ulrike joined our community. And now we have her here on the podcast. And before we basically get into bots and, uh, and AI, how do you connect art with coaching and this is a very interesting concept for me yeah so we are really uh, pioneers in the uh, in this field of um, coaching with artwork so in 2000 christina kranz uh, the founder of this model ag developed the method and um, what's really special is that we're using um, different kinds of artwork so to give an impression so i show you here uh, this is our centerpiece. So we use these kind of artworks. We have different kind of question techniques here. For example, it would be uh, which one do you like the most? Which one do you like the least? We have pictures um, where you position yourself in a landscape. Question would be where would you like to be? So I just give you a flip through the different uh, images. And so um, here, Rembrandt, for example, which one do you like the most? Which one do you like the least? And what we're using them for is we're using these images as a projection aid to lead to the unconscious but relevant uh, information and issues. So when we work with the artwork, we guide people to feel what's really inside them and from there find solutions. And so we have been specialized on this method for, yeah, about 25 years. So it's really our expertise. And the fun question or the um, yeah, the innovative question was now, okay, how can we uh, transform this somehow in a format that you can do this by your own, so for yourself. So that was this uh, big uh, yeah step we did in this year. So basically with this bot, I mean, I had a test go on your, on your bot and I learned that I'm a lion, yeah, yeah I like lions. <laughs> Which, uh, which was very interesting, but it's a very um, tangible concept. Uh, it's um, it's very interesting to relate coaching methodologies with artwork, and for me, it was a great experience to go through these questions and look at these these animals. I mean, in, in the bot, you primarily use animals to um, assign them to certain situations and behaviors. Yeah, exactly. So what what the artwork is really about is to to open up the field of imagery. And so, so often we are very much in our head, very analytic, which is a great uh, skill and important. But of course, we are much more than just our head. So we also have heart, we have feelings, we have intuition. And when we get in contact with the image, we activate those. And we chose very much on purpose 
This um, artwork with the animals, it was uh, designed by an illustrator from Vienna, um, Thomas Mohr. So he designed this artwork uh, with the 14 different animals. And there, there's a lot of yeah, knowledge behind how they are positioned. For example, all of the animals have a kind of neutral facial expression. So none is painted in a dangerous position or in a bedding position. So they're all strong in the sense of how they are or who they are as, as a character or as a symbol. So when the people or the coachee is looking at the artwork, they start to build resonance to the different animals, to the different symbols. And um, the point is, in the beginning of this coaching, you have to de define what is your topic. So this could be a conflict that you have with a colleague or with your supervisor, or this could be something that you have a feeling of um, somehow I'm bored or, or I have too much stress or whatever. So when you have defined your topic and now you're clear, for example, I just say, okay, I have a, a conflict with my um, employee. And so my, what is the future, what is the goal? The goal would be we work efficiently together and we have a good atmosphere inside the office. So, and then when I have this clear, okay, what is my focus? And I'm looking at the artwork. So now the, the task is choose the animal that fits the best to your topic. So then it's, it's a, it's a feeling thing. So, okay, what, where am I feeling with their resonance? Yeah. And this one I pick. And in your case, it was a lion. So that's uh, something that caught you. But it could be also that in with a different topic, so a different coaching, you would choose another animal, maybe the giraffe or the cheetah or whatever. So it's very different. It depends really on this moment. Okay, where is the resonance right now? And what is it telling me? And it's really this message from the unconscious that's helping me to find something I almost know and through the coaching I will know but in the point of choice I don't know yet but I'm on my way so it's this first step to the solution yeah yeah it's very interesting and you mentioned subconscious mind I mean this is where most of our decisions um, are made you know on a, on a subconscious level and um, um, yeah um, connecting this with, uh, with these uh, animals it's a very interesting uh, concept. So, you put this all into a into a bot, um, and uh, I mean AI is all over uh, the news, and um, everyone is talking about um, what. I mean, how did you design this bot? I mean, what challenges uh, did you have in, in developing uh, this this um, technology and this methodology? Um, yeah. Did you just go to ChatGPT and say, hey, create a bot for us? <laughs> or how does it work? Yeah, so from my background, I come from communication and then I did the PhD in organization and leadership. So AI is not my, my topic of expertise. And then I have a lot of uh, coaching experiences. So it's my, my passion is this coaching and supporting people to learn. So now AI development, or as I'm not a techie, so that's clear, but I... I'm looking at the things with the idea of what could be the opportunity or well, how could we use it. So I um, I heard another podcast from you with uh, Jonathan Green where I said many things are interesting but not useful. So I was interested <laughs> in finding something interesting and useful yeah, and yeah. right now. So that, that was the kind of idea. So um, we choose to cooperate with the German Research Center um, for Artificial Intelligence. So uh, it's a German research center. They are already for, there for 30 years, so they are highly skilled. It's a very good address in Germany, and they are really the experts for the AI development. And so what we then had to agree and discuss was, okay, what do we want to achieve with this coaching? Yeah, what, what do we want? How should be the experience? And so we have some, some rules that need to be cared for. So um, one of them is, for example, is that uh, the coachee is giving the solution, not the coach. And so when you make experiences with ChatGPT, you often get also recommendations. This is how you do it, you do it like this and that. And for us, uh, this is crossing a line. So then we are more consulting or mentoring, but we don't have coaching. So for us, it's really important that only the coachee is developing the solution. Yeah, The coachee stays the expert for his or her topic. So that's really, really important for us. And the way we secured that was that we opted for an AI. It's called a classifying AI. 
that is not free. So this one cannot create something in the moment. So it's not a generative AI, it's a classified. It can only give validated statements or questions. So in this sense, we use an AI that is limited in its horizon, but it is this a very conscious choice because we don't want our AI to tell the coach sheet what to do. We want the coach sheet to experience this is who I am, this is what I want, and this is what I'm going to do. Because it's a very different power if it comes from the inside of a person than if somebody gives you a good recommendation. I mean, I love good recommendations, but I know it's a different power if it has this feeling in me of knowing this is what I want and I do it like this. Yeah. So that was an important issue. And the second thing is also about confidentiality. So in coaching, uh, the coaching space is highly confidential. Nothing goes out. And this also needed to be true for our system. So we opted or we designed it in a way that it's fully anonymous. So you get a login code, so it's 12 digits. You get in, you are asked in the beginning which name, how would you like to be addressed? But the name that you type in is only safe on your own device. So it's not even transferred to the server of the research um, institute. So you really, it's anonymous coaching. You are, you're totally secure, nothing happens there. And this is really also so, so important for us to really these, these two aspects of the coach. The coachee is the expert first solution and it's totally secure. You can be there and do your own thing. And so this needs to be said. And that the quality is high, that is what we guarantee because we give all the answers and the questions. And so the AI is then um, reading what the person is writing. And then depending on which classifier is activated, then gives the uh, the next step or gives a question or whatever and is then the best choice. Yeah. So it's a real coaching. I mean, coaching is a word which is often misused, uh, as you said, while also providing advice, and mentoring and consulting. This is pure coaching where the coachee is developing the solution. Uh, so very trick uh, defined. And it's also a very secure um, system. So especially for yeah, us Europeans or Germans who are very focused on data privacy, which is very, which is very important, you provide a very um, secure and safe um, solution. Yes, that's just one sentence because it's always so important. So the service from the German Research Institute of Artificial Intelligence and it's in Germany. So that's to be really like safe, safe, safe. And it's important. And I think, yes, but it's possible to create AI solutions with this security. It is possible. Are there often these um, statements from coaches that, hey, um, bots can't replace us. We offer more than just um, the coaching. Yeah, we offer empathy and um, can understand feelings, which is, which is totally clear and, and true. But obviously there's a market for these kind of bots, yeah, for this automated coaching experience. and, and where do you see your clear market for, for this solution? Yeah, so what we see is that with the AI coaching, we can really uh, offer coaching to more people because in this state right now, coaching is for privileged people. So it's for management, it's for the upper supervisors, the upper leaders. So with the AI coaching, we can offer a very cost-effective system. And what I think is that this is the chance to make coaching mainstream. So to really say, okay, it's a highly effective tool. We have a lot of research that shows coaching has effects, less sick days, uh, more your loyalty, higher satisfaction. So we have such good effects from coaching. Um, but at this point, it's not that everybody in the company gets coaching. Mostly it's only a very small part that is gets access to it. So with this AI coaching formats, we have the opportunity to really offer this opportunity to everyone who chooses to do it. And it's really the idea. I mean, we have the global development goals and we have lifelong learning as one of our goals. And uh, the other one that we also um, support is a productive workplace. So we have a tool now that you can really use on a regular basis that supports us there. And what I wanted to because this came to my mind earlier when you said this is it's a full coaching so that's also different i mean a lot of people are working on coaching bots and that's wonderful because uh, there's a lot of also need and opportunity 
And what we see with our coaching compared to other AI coaching is often that you have, I say, I call it flash coachings. So you have minimal interactions. So people write like to a mentor or to a friend, uh, okay, I have this presentation, I'm nervous, what should I do? And then there's a few force back, force back, force back, and then the person breathes out and it's fine. And um, these interactions, most of the time are less than 10 minutes. And then people, they lose their interest. So. And um, for ours, it's it's very different because it's the average is 55 minutes that we have about uh, from our experiences. But some people also take two hours for their coaching. So um, because we have structured the process with the uh, with this painting and the different steps, we we achieve to make it an experience that you really say, okay, I'm going in now. I'm going into this thing, and I'm working to find my solution. And that's very different than the flash AI coachings that are out there because they are like an immediate support, like a best friend or somebody giving a good advice. So that's really also a big difference. Um, often people think when they hear AI tools that you, you kind of hand over your thinking to the AI. You just write them, okay, make me this blog article or uh, calculate this and that, write me the code or so on, like give orders like that. And so for us, it's the opposite. So we are using the system to accelerate and intensify learning. So we want the coachee to think and the AI to support the thinking. So it's it's a different logic, it's the other way around. But the point is, that's the beauty of the new technology, that it has such, so many opportunities. And this is uh, what I'm excited about and what I would hope that more people uh, get excited and start trying and get their hands into it. Um, to find out, okay, how can I use this to get the best version of myself? Yeah, so this this is how we want to use it. Yeah, I mean, you, you mentioned there's, there's still a lot of uncertainty in people's heads about AI. They they don't know how AI is working, um, what can it do, what, it, what can it not do. There are a lot of noise. There's um, basically every day something new coming up in this in this space, which is irritating people. Uh, um, so it's very important to um, inform them and it's very important to, as you said, make clear what this um, product can do and what it cannot do. And um, I actually like this aspect of uh, that it's challenging you to think because I, I realized myself that, hey, using so often now all these, these, these bots, you know, and I mean, we're getting lazy, right? I said, hey, I mean, in the past, even last year, I sat down and uh, I wrote this and, and now just help me formulate this. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, please. Um, and then uh, you don't even, I mean, I sometimes I don't even care to spell it right, you know, because I know that um, the the ChatGPT understands what I, what I was writing. Yeah? So when you make a mistake, I said, I'll just leave it and then uh, boom, it uh, completely gets your message, which I guess in the long run will have an effect on, on people. So pretty uh, interesting aspect to um, to change it. And as you said, it's a, it's it's an ideal tool from what I see for for companies, for corporates yeah, to offer to their staff because you rightly said coaching is expensive when you get into a, a sign with a coach also for for corporates it's a heavy investment and um, having technology which you can scale which you can offer at a much cheaper rate not only saves you money but it offers these um, tools to a broader range of um, people yeah i think you you solve several issues with it i mean there is we have this war of talent so it's not so easy to really have the right people or you need to do something to keep them. And so I think the point is, is so you can ask yourself, okay, where do I best invest my money? Am I investing my money in recruiting or am I investing my money in the employees I have to keep them? And then where, what makes most sense for you? So what I think as an example, so what typically every company has are these uh, meetings from supervisor and employees at the end of the year. So where they talk about, okay, how was Their the year? meetings. <laughs> yeah, and no, meetings, exactly. So when you have this, okay, see uh, where, what have we achieved and so forth. And the point is really to make, it's a chance to make these meetings, which of course take time and time. I mean, if you calculate 
how much does every meeting cost and so so that it's really a valuable intervention so and if this meeting now takes place on the level of really being a development meeting yeah so then there's a different whole uh, other opportunity so um, because if the employee goes out of this meeting and feels i've been seen my supervisor knows what i want and we have agreed on the goal and i'm really up for it and actually this is the best company i could ever think working for now yeah? so at an extreme but so to use these touch points and make them more brilliant in the sense that you have prepared them in a different way so the idea would be that before you go into an annual uh, meeting you do uh, the ai coaching so you prepare yourself and you um, are really connected with yourself you know what you want uh, what you want to set as goals for next year then you discuss this with your supervisors you make an agreement and then you're up and ready to go and so these are opportunities to make the touch points that are already existing much more effective yeah so there's just one opportunity but also often we have um, um, leaders they have a lot on the table and they maybe don't have can't take the time to sit with somebody and do a coaching with them because maybe not their calling or they just don't can take the time so with such a tool they can say okay i see you're struggling uh, with this and if you like, you can do an IR coaching um, to work with that. And let's talk about then the solutions that you have uh, developed and see how we can get from there. So we also offer it as a tool for leaders to say, okay, we have this available and I can give it to you as a support. And it's, it really affects your development. And um, I mean, it's professional coaching, so it's really solution oriented. Yeah. So when you use this tool more, of course, you grow a coaching mindset, you grow a solution orientedness. So it changes the way you interact with each other. So that's, um, you know, that are parts of what I see is possible. Yeah. And I see a, another aspect. I mean, look at all these, um, there are so many people in, in corporates who have conflicts with other coworkers. Yeah. I mean, um, this is a growing challenge for, for many organizations and they can't offer help for all these people. Yeah, some of um, those um, individuals, they don't speak up. Yeah, they basically um, just accept the situation and they suffer. Yeah, and uh, and every day they tracking themselves to work. You know, okay, I have to deal with this person. I have to deal with this situation, and they have no tools. You know, they have no nothing which uh, can help them. And um, Sometimes maybe they're also afraid to speak up, you know, to ask a supervisor or to ask a, um, an external coach. Yeah? And uh, if, if companies offer these kind of solutions to them yeah, on an anonymous, free basis, I mean, hey, you could end up so much suffering and, and, and solve so many conflicts or at least give them the tools so they can um, try to solve their conflicts and uh, start this process of coaching themselves. And at least it's a step towards the right direction. I really would emphasize this, yeah, because it's the idea with the self-coaching that you empower yourself. And even if you are not the loudest in a meeting or you have difficulty to maybe speak up, when you do the self-coaching and uh, you have this uh, change of perspective, you see the situation differently, and then you have a new you have new options. How can I uh, work through this? And this gives you yeah, it gives you more breath, gives you new opportunities how to work with the situation, and the system will react to your change. So it will change something, even if it's very a slow process. But when you change the way you treat others, it will respond. There will be an echo of some kind. So it's very clear. So especially, I mean, in Germany, we had figures like 20% of the uh, workforce has already detached from the company. So they they haven't uh, canceled, but uh, they're still there. But inside, they're already resigned, kind of, basically. Yeah, in, resigned, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And so for this group, which is pretty big, uh, this would be a chance maybe to get them back. Yeah, in an, of course, in a voluntary way. But in a way to say, okay, we care, uh, we want you to be uh, in a good place, in a good mood, that you like to work here and that you can also then, of course, it's performance oriented, of course, yes, but people often like to uh, make good work. It's just they need to have the, also the conditions where they can flourish in them. So it's, it's a chance to make the conditions better and support them to go uh, on and in a 
yeah, in self-controlled way. No, nobody pushing them, but from them in their own speed. Right? I mean, to be honest, from a business owner or management point of view, it's a no-brainer. I mean, uh, before you lose your, your your people, before they burn out, before they they internally resign and don't um, bring the performance anymore. I mean, if you can use something like that, uh, which uh, um, helps them, I mean, you don't need to be, <laughs> you don't have to. It's not so complicated. It's not so complicated, no. It's... <laughs> when put you on a recruiting or <laughs> It's a quite easy, easy uh, uh, solution, especially in those times where mm. We live in this this big uncertainty uh, which affects everyone. Yeah? Everyone uh, in every organization, all the employees, they all uh, have the same challenges which uh, we, we all face in the world. And um, coaching is one one solution. Yeah, and it's, it's really about this. We say it's one solution, but it's also about this approach of solution orientedness. Huh? So that I say, okay, I experienced this condition and what can I do? Yeah. So to get into this mindset of, okay, where are all the possibilities that I can do changes or that I can behave in a different way and how will this affect the others? And in most cases, we have much more opportunities than we think in the beginning. And if we start uh, self-reflecting and uh, yeah, using tools like ours to so go within, with the artwork, tapping the unconscious uh, knowledge, we have a lot of ideas. So there is creativity in everyone that we can activate. So it's really about activating these inner resources and, and seeing that there are opportunities in everyone to do a next step and not to give up and say, I don't know, it has been here for 10 years, for 20 years, for 30 years, I don't know. But to say, okay, what can I do? What's my first little step and the second and the third and to move it like that in this way. How long does it take to develop this bot and um, what's your um, vision for the future? So um, now it's a it's a very stable solution for um, primarily for the business and corporate world. Where do you want to develop it to? Yeah, so I mean, in the development, we also have, of course, we had the part that were really clearly structured and this is how we do it. And here's the meeting and that's a template. And then we had things that happened and that were helpful and we met this person or that person. And so, so this whole process, if you say, okay, when did it start? And then it started in 2018 uh, when Christina started to develop um, this tool. There was a client uh, who asked her to just develop a, a smaller component. So she, she started to develop this with the animals and so forth. And we have artworks with animals that we use in the coaching setting. So we have 25 years of experience with that kind of system and so then it took its journey so when i came in 22 um we started to work on this project again and then in this new mindset okay how can we make it a a tool that somebody can use for themselves without a coach needing to be uh, present or guiding or anything so in a sense 2018 was the start and 2022 we started to really look into what are the uh, technological possibilities that we have right now. How can we use that? Then we got in contact with the German Research Institute for Artificial Intelligence. We started testing. So we did funny things like pretending to be a chatbot on Zoom and then uh, trying, okay, how would it fit if we do it like this and so. So we had uh, since 2022 and 23, we um, really engaged with this AI chatbot idea. So, and then uh, maybe launched for the first time and in September has second language. So it's now in German and English. So now we have this that is working as a system and it's, it's uh, complete and we great, great feedback. So it's already there. So that's already, yeah, we're satisfied with that. But I think hey, what can be the future? So you said earlier, of course, um, between an AI bot and the human, there, there are differences. I mean, there always will be differences, but of course the language uh, programming will be better and better and it will be more difficult for us in the future to actually notice, it. am I talking to a human or am I talking to an AI bot? Yeah, so that will be more difficult for us. But what my future vision is, is I want this to be a, this coaching, to be the, that the coaching as a really strengthening experience and also um, more fun. And right now we have it very minimalistic. So it's just in writing, so it's chat based. So it's very, it's um, yeah, it's very essential. It's powerful and as such. So, 
Um, and what would be, I could imagine that more artistic elements, so more arty elements, could make it even more an intense ex experience. So um, that the animals come more to life or speak to you, for example, because this is with the animal picture, so that the experience of, oh, I'm getting in touch with my inner images and what does it reveal? It gets more intensive. So that would be something I would be interested in to develop this further that you really have this. Um, I mean, when you do the self-coaching, it's a very special time. You're really with yourself about an hour. You're really looking inside and learning about yourself. And so to make this even more fun and um, interesting. So that would be where I would go to. And I think what my vision are is that um, it's more normal for people to say, I do that. I mean, we are, we're so used to um, going to the hair cutter and starting ourselves and very certain calls. It's really highly important for us. And they need to change and need to look in a certain way in everything. So the outside look really important to us, but the inside look not so important to us. Yeah. So, and I think this, this is interesting when it changes because we get in this really highly technology age where so much can be done um, by AI technology, which is also a blessing, but maybe also has or has also harm or dangers. But then to also say my inside, uh, my inside look, my inside, my mental health, really important issues. And I invest in it. I spend time for this. I not only go to the hair cutter regularly, I also sit down with myself and care for myself so that this mind uh, is, is more active, so that the self-caring takes more place. And um, it's not only this outside styling issue, but also inside. So that's what we really my wish. And I think with this AI technology, we see already developments where you have your AI friend or even your AI boyfriend, girlfriend. So people start using it also to replace um, relationships. And I think that's, yeah, we really need to look at that because it's important that we, yeah, keep in contact with us, with the humans uh, ourselves and that we uh, use the technology in a wise way, of course, but also that we don't isolate ourselves and then just stay with the technology. That's not what I think is the nature of us being human. So we have the socialness in us and it's important that we interact. And if there are conflicts, which there are every day and everywhere, then it's important to use them as learning opportunities and go through them and not say, I stop talking to the person, I prefer the AI because the AI is always listening, this person is not listening. So to, to say, okay, I'm a human, I'm here, and I want also to use the opportunities that I, that I have, and humans have amazing creativity, and that's also expressing itself now with the different opportunities, but still to be clear and sure, okay, how can we interact and make this time that we have here a beautiful time and a good time? You touch on very important topics, mental health. I had a couple of people here on the podcast talking about mental health, and it's a it's a growing concern uh, in, in society that more and more people um, have mental health issues. And um, you also mentioned that um, coaching is still something people hardly talk about. Yeah, they might do this, but um, yeah, they say, yeah, I went to the hairdresser, got a nice uh, cut, but uh, they never um, said, oh, I, I had a session with my coach because um, they imply or they think that others think oh there's some, something not right with you or why, why do you need a coach you know it's uh, uh, something something wrong and this this attitude uh, this mindset really needs to change I mean this is completely um, right uh, I mean mental health is important self-care is important and uh, with your work you're doing an amazing job for um, society and um, I can only hope that um, more and more people take advantage of that and do a coaching in whichever way, yeah, either with a person or with a tool like uh, the uh, symbol and um, bot. So, is there anything else you'd like to share before we um, wrap up, Frederica? It's been amazing. Uh, conversation um lots of yeah maybe one thing because I, i've been yesterday and a bigger a global conversation um from the fq and it was about using ai also to uh for more quality between a uh, man and women and different so i think it's really also when i'm here i think also to the women to really engage with the ai tools 
and not uh, step back because maybe to technology will not look good or whatever. So that to really uh, also for the women to step up and use the tools, uh, ideally daily. So to really get in touch with the AI tools and to use also this, uh, yeah, this opportunity to strengthen ourselves and uh, find the right place and come really in your power and um, use these opportunities. We have them now here and it's no need to wait. No. Nobody wants to wait. Exactly. We, we can start right now. It's, it's, it's the time is now. <laughs> time is now. You can start right now. And uh, the good thing is it's still uh, in very early stages. Yeah. So also, I mean, this is all it's a, it's an equal playing field. Yeah. We all start. Yeah. So um, even if you start today, um, you don't need to be afraid that you're losing behind because I mean, everyone is sort of starting and it's an amazing opportunity and yeah, everyone should take this opportunity and use it for themselves and to create value for, for the world. Yeah, exactly. And really no, no afraid of, of, uh, I'm judged or anything, but really just this, um, this curiosity of exploration, this hungry learner uh, kind of quality in us, to really use that and enjoy. And like you said, it's uh, we are all beginners right now. Of course, some have more experience than others, but it's so easy to learn quickly with this. And uh, this is really, yeah, to get started now. That's really the point. Yeah. Awesome. Let's get all started and uh, maybe with uh, a coaching session of the symbol and bot, I will definitely give it another go. Um, and um, Great. Frederica, thank you so much for your time today. Great conversation, lots of learning and um, hey, uh, wish you all the best. And uh, uh, we definitely have another conversation um, maybe in a couple of months uh, to see where this uh, whole thing uh, went to and what other uh, features this Bolum bot uh, can offer. Yeah. yeah. I love you, Sebastian. I'm, I'm right now I'm working together with the University of Hamburg and we're doing an evaluation study. So maybe the next chance, I have the time I can uh, share some of the results that we have there. So uh, it's really exciting and um, it's, it's really the time to explore. So thank you so much for the opportunity today and many greetings to everyone who has been listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning into the High Performance CEO Show. I'm your host, Sebastian Schieke, and it's been a pleasure serving you. Please subscribe to our show on your favorite platform and leave us a review. Your support helps us reach more listeners and create a bigger impact. Check out our website, sebastianschieke.com, for additional resources. Until next time, be bold, be exceptional, be outstanding, be a leader.